Earlier, I spoke to the BBC's business correspondent, Niels Blythe. I asked him for the big picture of oil prices at the moment. Well, in historic terms, oil prices at the moment are really astonishingly high. We've seen oil prices go up ten times in the last ten years. And if you compare oil prices now with the 1970s, when we had those great oil shocks, uh, the prices now, if you ignore inflation, are much, much higher. So these really are very, very high prices, and nothing seems to bring them down. So, for example, we've had the Chinese government saying that it's going to do away with some of the subsidies. Indian government has done the same thing. That should be reducing demand, should bring down the oil price, hasn't happened. The oil price uh, actually later this week and the latter part of the week has been going up again. And now there's all these hopes for the Jeddah meeting, but what's it expected to achieve or what can it achieve? Well, this meeting was called by the Saudi Arabian government and they invited, rather unusually, they invited uh, representatives from the big consuming countries to come. Gordon Brown is the main head of state, but there are ministers from uh, France and Germany. The Secretary of Energy in America is going. So what they want to do, I think, is to show that they are concerned about the impact of these high prices on the consuming countries. But whether they're actually going to do anything very, very practical in the short term, I think remains to be seen. So it's a case of you come to us and, uh, and, as it were, beg us to reduce the price. Well, what Saudi Arabia have actually done in the run-up to this meeting is to say, in a slightly cack-handed way, that they are actually going to increase production. Because at the moment, uh, there is this big argument about what's driving oil prices. Is it the speculators, as the Saudis say, or is it a fundamental mismatch between supply and demand? The Saudis always blame the speculators, but nonetheless, uh, they have said that they are going to slightly increase production. They might even come up with a little bit more on Sunday. But for the reasons that I was explaining earlier, nothing much seems to shift the oil price at the moment. So I don't think that we can expect anything dramatic. Certainly, uh, the financial markets aren't expecting anything dramatic. No, but Gordon Brown is going to go there. He's going to look to be bringing something home with him to make his journey worthwhile. But I think today he's been indicating that his attention is much more focused on the long term. I think he's trying to depress expectations that there's going to be some kind of enormous uh, announcement on Sunday which is going to bring, you know, petrol prices on the four courts down. Uh, they're going to be talking about long-term issues, huge investment needed in the oil industry and in other power sources like uh, renewable energy uh, and indeed nuclear energy. Niels, thank you.